I'm Dr. Ingrid Matson. I'm the London and Windsor Community Chair in Islamic Studies at Huron University College at Western University in Canada. I didn't know any Muslims very well. I grew up in Canada, and my first encounter was in Senegal and Mauritania, when I was studying in France. There were very nice caring people from very solid communities, and compassionate communities, and I saw in them a spirit of generosity, and patience that really gave me a sense of friendship. But because they were such kind people, I wanted to know more about their life in the country they lived in, in their cultural context. And because of that, I felt that they were Muslim and they cared very little about it. I mean, that they were not trying to force their religion on me. The way I read about their religion I didn't know anything about Islam, and so for the first time I opened the Quran, and it was really the Quran, that brought me to Assam. Because when I was at that time in my life, it didn't have any faith in God, and when I spent some time reading the Quran, I felt that I had regained my faith in God, so it was really thanks to the Quran, that I should continue to learn that you know, if this tradition brought me this holy book, that allowed me to regain something, so precious in my life, I think I mean for sure. The first hurdle for my friends, and family was just understanding the effects of the sun and me becoming a Muslim. Back in the mid 80s and the sun wasn't in the news like it is now for better or worse, so there was a lot of fear about what it would mean for my life, and of course many of my friends and family. I felt that at least putting myself in a position, where I belong to a group, that I knew little about, and surely now would know little or nothing about was wrong with my life. It will make it more difficult, you know. All I can say is that, my life has been filled with blessings. Being a Muslim means that I not only have this long tradition of spiritual, and moral education that I draw on. I can draw and learn, and my life has been in scholarship, but also, a community of people who are supportive, and of course there. There are some people who will treat someone negatively, who are different people who are prejudiced people, who are afraid, but my experience is you know most are positive. I think most people just, they want to know that you will treat them with respect, and they will treat you with respect, if you are a kind person, and try to be helpful to someone try to make a positive contribution to your society, others will appreciate it, and you know it, that no matter who we are, we will face obstacles, we are going to encounter some people, who are ignorant even, if you know that for whatever reason they may treat you that way, but if you have a community, and if you have values, AA and principles that you can help, and you can at least focus on maintaining your sense of dignity, and worth then you will be able to get through this, and I am so grateful that, I have all the wealth that we have within us, that allowed me to keep going. Are you satisfied with others misinterpreting Islam? No, we must do something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.